Hi folks, Alex Klingel Hafer here with Essential Wealth Advisors. It's 825 here in the middle part of the country on Tuesday. It's August 4th, 2021. Here's your morning jog around the economic headlines of the world. Starting off in China, additional regulation, additional stock moves overnight. First, it was private tutoring companies forced to go non for profit. Then it was a restriction on IPOs because of data privacy concerns from the Chinese government. Now it's video games. Chinese state owned newspaper overnight calling it opium, uh, spiritual opium. Let me get that quote right. Video game companies down more than 10%. Tencent Games, of course, the biggest elephant in the room, down over $60 billion in market cap overnight. They're instituting new regulations for kids. Kids during the week can only play one hour of video games, only two hours on the weekends, and kids under 12 can't make any in-game purchases at all. Those are all severe restrictions, right? Kids play video games six, sometimes eight hours a day these days. That is quite an impact on the business model. Of course, as we're seeing additional regulation here in China, we have to lower our future expected returns as additional uh, controls on the economy really set the course for having not quite as robust growth. It'll be interesting to see if we start to see that being priced in quite a little bit more from sort of a long-term or macro perspective versus just these individual stocks getting hit. Moving on, whoop, Simon Properties says they had a pre-pandemic level of activity in their malls in June. Of course, that'd be a really good thing to say if you are a mall owner wanting to sell additional retail leases, but it is encouraging for the overall economy as we see folks get back in stores. Of course, the key data points will be out later this quarter. The question is, is the economy continuing to grow at a robust rate? We saw a 6.4% GDP number posted for Q2. The key question is, on a go-forward basis, do we have some additional fuel left that's going to continue to accelerate us up and above our pre-pandemic trend line, or are we really going to return to that one and a half, two percent growth that we saw uh, pre-pandemic times? It will be interesting to see if retail continues to be a leader in the economy going forward. Last not least, before we get you off to a nice Tuesday. BP upped its dividend doing a share buyback. It'd be interesting here to take a look and see if we see some generalist investors get back towards energy investing. One of the real dichotomies that we've seen over the past number of months as oil has made its slowly uh, steady march towards 70, $75 a barrel. Back down to about 69 here in pre-market today, taking a little bit uh, off the top. Oil equities have not made that same March, we're seeing real investor skepticism of that move as far as a long-term investment thesis, a real gap between what these companies were trading at versus the prices of oil and what they're trading at now versus the price of oil. Of course, $70 a barrel is a great price for really anyone uh, in the world. Most companies are extremely profitable at that number, but we've yet to see those shares really be bought up by generalist investors. Really, we're just seeing folks who were always playing in the energy space saying, hey, these are really good values. If you want some additional information throughout the week, feel free to follow me as always on Twitter. It's OKCCFACFP. Until then, hope you have a very good Tuesday. I am out.